as a writer, you're going to have falls. But this was not like the other falls. There was a moment between catapulting and landing. I felt like time was just stretched out. I was suspended above the earth. I had never landed that hard from anything before. As I was laying there, I realized I couldn't really move my legs. I shattered my pelvis on my right side and my left side, and I broke my sacrum as well. I was confined to a wheelchair, laying on a couch for months. It was really humbling. I had to completely learn how to walk again. Before the accident, my husband and I had a plan to get a house and get a dog and hopefully start a family. Everything basically got put on hold. I felt like the world was just literally passing me by as I looked out the window. And I thought, life is so short, why are we waiting to get a dog? I wanted to get the kind of dog that nobody else wanted, that outwardly looked the way I inwardly felt. I thought, let's just go to the shelter. Let, let's just go to look. Let's just see who's there. Unknown to me, there was a dog just one town over from where I'd had my accident. His days of normal living were about to come to an end, just as mine had. Someone found him and transported him to the local shelter where he had surgery that ended up saving his life. He needed a lot of recuperation time, like I needed recuperation time. And when I went to the shelter, it was the first morning that he'd even been available for adoption. We walked up to the first kennel. This black dog was laying there. And the way he was laying, it looked like he maybe had one front leg tucked. And I looked at my husband and I said, does he have th three legs? And my husband said, yes. The dog heard me talking and sat up and put his one front paw on the glass. And I said, does he have one eye? And my husband said, yes. And I said, this is our dog. And he said, I know. From the moment that we got Jack, he was a bouncy, joyful, super goofy dog. Before I got Jack, I would feel really insecure if I was walking in public. I was reluctant to go out for regular walks. But having Jack, I had to get out. Every day he could walk a little bit more and every day I could walk a little bit more. I realized that with him, I'm not self-conscious because the focus is more on him instead of on me. Jack is really intuitive. He seems to be really interested in people that have some kind of disability. He seems to be drawn to them. It's just something very special about him. We get people saying, oh, why would you adopt a dog like this? And my answer to them is, he has three legs and he has one eye, but it, it has no impact on him whatsoever. To him, everything is, is a source of joy. It was my birthday a few months ago. Jack and I were on a walk. He started to run in front of me and I thought, why not, I'll, I'll run a little bit with him. And so I started to run a little bit and I ran faster and faster. And then he turned his head over his shoulder and looked at me with this look of amazement, like he couldn't believe that I was doing this. And I just started laughing because I couldn't believe that I was doing it either. When I got Jack, I felt like I was helping him with his disabilities. But looking at my life now, I realized that he was actually helping me with mine.